Hey there, everybody. I'm just uh, giving you an update for the rest of the 3rd of July and the beginning, the first three hours of the day we call Independence Day, the day we, where we're supposed to be free, according to our charter. I'm in the middle of a nudge your neighbor awake message to come clean and tell the police that it's not the real government that's been working in the neighborhood. Either the police are as ignorant as they look or they're covering up the truth. This illegal group allowed to romp and roam for free under false authority is rather appalling in the neighborhood. But they also promised her what she wanted. So she really is right in the middle of everything. Fucking up more shit as she helps things along. I wrote a text to her before going to bed, depressed that nobody in the world seems willing to help me in the ways that I specifically need. Everyone thinks they know what's best for me, and all their interventions have done have destroyed my life. I deleted and offloaded many apps on my new phone. I just got June 2nd. In the amount of time, my phone storage has become fully packed with government cheese puff filler data, like so many other devices that I own and have purchased. Take a look at how my phone data looks on a device that was brand new. Go through the list here. And you can see the size. Of the different items that are on my phone. You can see I've offloaded many of the apps. That's all that's on my phone. Trickery. Frustrated, I went to my backyard to have a cigarette because it kept saying that I couldn't use my mail app to send an important email. I was surprised to hear a click, then a hissing sound coming from Arvid's backyard. I was able to send the draft email when I returned to my home office up on the second floor, feeling like Rapunzel, except with no long hair. I included in the email a picture of a document where both the police and Netcare clearly state the false belief in delusions in my life. I asked point blank if this document alone is enough evidence to hold both entities liable. I know they don't offer any legal assistance, but I was asking targeted justices opinion to see if I might have a firm enough case. Most medical and law enforcement agencies are savvy enough not to mention R&M and V2K, much less than to name these things as delusions in court documents. It's only through the showing of sharing of ideas that we will truly be set free. Targeted Justice is the largest website on the internet 
for targeted individuals. They, they encourage the sharing of documentation over the internet. And if my sharing of my document can prevent just even one unnecessary hospitalization from occurring in someone else's life because of false statements by authority, then they are more than welcome to add it to their list of documents of credibility and proof of liability that caused harm and illegal action to be taken or proves wrongdoing. I'll be damned if some brain witch brothel house is going to call real things delusions and get away with it. Sometimes people need to learn things the hard way. I think I've got both the police and net care trapped in a corner and I'm not letting them out of my sight. And it could be, as with other things involved in this case, where others' words, statements, and documents could be the wind that causes the Tower of Babel to crumble, making its House of Cards foundation weak and buckle under the pressure. Because I am not believed of anything, I say or do, I rely on other people's input as my validity and claims to be correct. I think in the morning, I will reach out directly to Officer Lutz and ask him if all my reports, he claims there are many, although I only have three with report numbers assigned to them have actually disappeared out of the system. If they have, I will surprisingly not be angry. Instead, I'll look at it as their chosen action as being the perfect golden opportunity to create a new report of crime and ask the officer's help in getting the Detective Bureau involved in getting resolution to the unbelievable invisible chains that could forever hold me prisoner and target for the rest of my life if I don't get this resolved. I'm sure the government has already read the document calling real things delusions and it's going to create a big problem for, the, for, for, for itself. The proof that people always tell on themselves is right there in black and white instead of stars and stripes as I climb my way back into my place in society I had before and hopefully improving upon it by simply setting the record straight so that pain and suffering for all will end and we can march boldly into the electromagnetic age at least agreeing on one thing alone. That freedom of mind is not only God's law, but now also law of the land, where ignorance, living in the land of dum-dum, are slowly waking up to the reality of the seriousness of things, and how disbelief of things that are true can scarily have a horrific consequence if the truth never becomes known. I'm tired of thieves, chiefs, and robbers king kinging themselves as leaders of our precious and unique country in the world. They're not leading the country if they're robbing it blind, playing cover-up, and believing genocide is an acceptable stance for government to take in regards to the people they're supposed to serve. More information will be coming to you later today. Right now it's time to go get some sleep. Have a good night.